always swab out your bassoon before returning it to the case. First, remove the reed and the vocal. Then, gently shake out your swab so there's no bunched up parts. While you are playing, the spit will go through the vocal, through the tenor joint, and into the boot joint. You don't really have to worry about the bell and the bass joint. So before you swab, gently release the bass joint and the bell joint and place it in your lap or somewhere secure nearby. Gently twist off the tenor joint and place the boot joint securely in your lap. Taking the end of your swab, fish it through the tenor joint until it comes out the other end. Then gently pull through. And since this is one of the most wet places, I like to do it twice. When it's been swabbed, return it to the case. Fish the swab through one of the holes. I try to put the string in as far as possible before I rotate it and shake to have it come out the other hole. Then I gently pull through so that it comes up through the boot joint and back out. When it's been swabbed, remove the hand rest and return it to the case. You can swab these two joints as well. They just don't usually get as wet as the other two. Gently twist and return. Don't try to swab your vocal. It's too small and it will get stuck. After playing, you can do a quick blow through to remove any excess moisture. To help keep your vocal clean, run this through warm water about once a week. You'll want to put your finger over the small end, fill it with water, and then release it and do it a couple times. That being said, the rest of your bassoon has a lot of delicate cork and pads throughout the whole instrument. Never submerge any of the joints in water. It's best to let your swab air dry after you finish swabbing your instrument, but if you need to get moving or don't have time, bunch it up, wrap it tightly, store it away from the instrument, and let it air dry when you can. Swabs do a very good job of getting rid of the moisture in our instruments. That means, however, they can get pretty gross. You can hand wash them with soap and water or machine wash them in a delicate bag every couple weeks or so. Allowing them to air dry as often as possible is a great habit to form. Thank you.